Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos and you have not already, please drop a line. Um, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos, you know, are insightful to you and you truly resonate with the content of the video, please go ahead and share. And today I am doing, I'm back on my tarot card reading videos. I haven't did that in a while. I already did, this is like my sixth one. Yeah. So I'm on Scorpio right now for the month of May. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Now everybody is going to resonate with these, uh, with these readings. So allow it to you know soak in if it don't hey no worries um universe what does scorpio need to need to know about what's taking place in the month of may oh worried about prayers not being answered don't worry about prayers not being answered everything is answering but it's just not in the ways that we hope they are so they're saying no worries Don't worry, no worry, be happy. Ooh, somebody's thinking about marriage. I know the last one, what was that? Squir uh, Leo was thinking about the same thing. My nose starts itching. Meditation. They're proud of you because you've been taking in that meditation. But you, yet you have worries about your prayers not being answered. You don't feel like you've been heard. But they're telling you that meditation is clearing so much for you. You don't even realize it. And you have released. Surrender and release. And they, they're wanting you to. Congratulations. Because they know. You, you know that is the step. You know surrender and release and forgiveness. Is power moves. And they want you to be able to know that. And, you know, when you're allowing yourself to surrender and release, you're allowing yourself to know the universe is working um, things out in your favor. And they want you to know that romance is underway. Ooh la la. I was like, so my nose start itching as soon as I start messing with them cards. And you, you got romance coming in. Congratulations. You really need that. You've been probably working hard. And you may be seeing a lot of couples that's coming in and, you know, different things. You know, we do get lonely at times, especially if you've been, you know, away. Um, from a couple or been in a relationship for a long time and knowing, you know, universe is, you know, making some moves for you. But you need to put balance in your life because it's like a lot of things that is heavy on your mind that shouldn't be. And they're telling you, you know, don't worry. You're placing worry where worry shouldn't be. You know, everything is all good in the hood. And you've been studying. You've been, you know the assignment. <laughs> you've been getting on that assignment. You have been studying. Because there's so many different things that's taking place that you are allowing yourself to study in. And they are so, they are, when I say the universe is so proud with you, they are proud with you. Because you have been, um, from what I'm hearing, you have been in a very low vibration for a, such a long time where you felt defeat, you felt doubt. And they see that you've really been putting in the work to get yourself into that. Just a second, y'all. Hey, y'all. Sorry about that. My granddaughter called me. But, yeah, you've been doing your assignments and they're telling you, you know, you've been putting in your work. They've been seeing you in your studies and stuff like that. And so they are really, really, really proud of you for that. And, you know, allow yourself to keep moving, making that move, you know. But allowing yourself to get into that balance because they say you're all over the place because it's like you're worrying. And they said to stop worrying about that. Placing your intentions, you know what you want in your life, but yet, you know, we, we stay occupied with things that are out of our control. So they're saying don't do that. Because everything, you know, we have to understand we're not in control of anything. The only time we are in control is how we respond to things instead of react and how we uh, observe instead of absorb. So those are the things that we have control about. You know, not allowing ourselves to, you know, really put ourselves out there when we don't need to be. You feel trapped. What are y'all feeling trapped about? You're feeling trapped and you're not trusting. And they say it's going with your intentions, you know. But you've been studying and you just feel, I don't know if you feel like you've been neglecting or being neglected. 
um, in your healing that healing really needs to take place. I'm not telling you that. You have not been retreating and you need to retreat. This is that time for you to go within. Go within. You know, you have gems that's trying to be dropped to you. And as soon as I said that, all hairs just came up. You got so many hidden gifts that's coming to you, but you have to be able to get into that 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 vibration of isolation where you can stay focused on yourself and get away do away and get away with distractions you have been calling on your archangels you have been doing that meditation you have been doing that that work with that and they've been helping you you know and they're proud of you for that because your archangels are helping you they're guiding you towards that source that you need there it says that uh archangel michael is guiding you towards that insight that you've been asking for and you have a powerful merge that's coming in. There's so there ain't no reason why you should have any reverse cards in here. But you know, as in we're in human experience, we tend to do that. You know, and that celebration is placed on hold for a moment. They're saying it's, it's going to be very brief because I see a pause. Like, you know, um, like a DVD uh, remote when something is pressed pause. You know, like if you're watching Netflix and, and you took a pause for the cause. And they say it's only brief. So don't don't get into a panic. You know, because you're not believing that divine guidance is under play for that. You know, you got so many different things that's coming in. Like you got romance is really helping you. You know, and they're they're showing you that there are so many divine divine guiding blessings that's taking place. But something you're not listening to. They keep telling you don't worry, but there are certain things that you keep allowing yourself to repeat that same low vibration of concern and they're telling you not to do that, you know. Um Everything is taking place exactly where it's supposed to be. But you're seeing your magic. What you got going on, Scorpio? Oh my goodness. You're seeing the magic within yourself. You're recognizing your power. So there is nothing that you should be worried about. And you don't have faith that miracles is heading its way for you. Miracles is happening every day for you. And they, I guess it's just the fact is they're, they're saying the ones that you are hoping for is underway. And it has already taken place, but you don't see it in the ways you're not seeing it in the ways that you hoped. And so they're telling you there's nothing to fear. You're not paying attention to the signs of the miracles. You don't realize that your prayers are being answered through that. You have been stepping into nature. You really have been. And you've been you've been listening. So there are certain things. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Okay, thanks, Spirit. Uh, there's the reason why there's is this confusion is because uh, there's something you're waiting to clear for you to give you the heave ho. There's something that you have been waiting for to, before you get that go ahead, and that has been heavy on you. And they say the answer is yes. They say the answer is yes, but not at this exact time, but yes. It's coming. They're going to give you that signal on saying yes, but they said not at this exact time. So don't allow yourself to really, uh, you know, think negative of that. Just because it hasn't shown up for you yet doesn't mean it's not going to show up. It, you know, is just allowing yourself to have, you know, when you allow yourself to surrender and release. And, you know, they're giving you ideas and inspiration to help you with that. You know, whatever it is. And, you know, they said stop focusing on one thing and being able to see the bigger picture of that. See it at a broader perspective. So, there's, you know, and you're allowing the guardian angels to guide you. And they're going to be doing that. And they're continuing to do that. So, they say loosen up the reins. Stop being so serious with everything. Because it's like you're, it's, it's like they're, they're telling you you're stressing and being tense for no apparent reason when there's nothing to be doing everything is flowing the way it needs to be from what they're telling me everything is flowing the way it needs to be you know but you need to be true with yourself there are certain things that you're still strongly connected to that's not healthy you know it's not healthy and this is where they're really telling you to open up and and take it to god take it you know take it to universe you know um and they can be able to help you with that there's that's that part where where it steps in for free will you know they're always helping they're always guiding they're always protecting but there's a part where you have to initiate saying hey you know they're waiting for you to see how when you're trying to do everything on your own and they're telling you to step out of the way of that and allow them to help you and that's where the issue is trusting on divine time and everything is happening for you in ways that you know um are so good for you 
but it's just like you are focused on that one thing and they understand that because there is a, a clearing that comes through that you're trying to you're at a crossroads from what they're showing me you're at a crossroads and you're trying to find out which way to go and they're telling you don't worry you're going to get that exact direction on what needs to take place into your life because you have, you have set something free from what they're saying you have set something free and you're opening that window because i see someone just opening up a window and just standing there and you're looking you know and there's something that's going to come to you and they're they're saying don't worry about that yeah you, you're taking life too seriously they're they're telling you to stop doing that you know bring bring some fun to your life bring some laughter to your life you deserve that you've been going through a lot you know and you're not having to accept yourself for all the things that you have gone through you know they're, they're showing you hey you know you've been through a lot but accept yourself for that because it brought so much good out even though that heartache that you have faced has brought you so many blessings that you didn't realize that you had. They're telling you accept that. You know, even if this has made you go through a huge transition, accept yourself exactly who you are because it's a blessing to be exactly at that vibration that you're at. And these are the things you truly deserve. You know, it's like, ugh. It's just like you got so many things that's coming in. Don't worry about the, the prayers are being answered even when you feel like they're not. You've been meditating and they're telling you to keep on keep at that. You've been meditating to surrender and release and they're proud of you. And that's opening doors for your romance. But you have to seek balance. Keep studying and there's more things that's coming up, up for you because there's there's uh whatever you just cleared is opening a door to a new gift that you didn't you, you aren't aware of. Because you can feel something going on with you because it's just like everything is just you know, it feels like it's all out, you know, it's all in disarray. But it's not. But it, it's just like you. It, it's just all. They're saying it's all in your mind, and you need to allow yourself to get balanced into your life. You know, and trust that your freedom. You know, trust into your. You know, trust into your freedom. That intention. You have to be solid on that. You know. You know what you want in your life, but don't stay focused on what you don't want in your life because that freedom you feel stagnant, and you're not trusting. Uh, I don't know if you're not trusting yourself. Or you're not trusting the source of uh, the spiritual enforcements they said you for you go in retreat um archangel michael is going to guide you towards that because you're merging into something and it's like your 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 spiritual uh like your your celebration has been placed on a brief hold they said it's very brief you know because they know that you've been really working hard at that and that you've been um really obtaining different you know insight or different confirmation that these things celebration is underway for you but you're, you're blocking your divine guidance from what they're saying you know um celebration is only for a brief hold and it's just like whatever you have just you know strongly cut cords with something that was very heavy in your life and you did that and they're proud of you for that but there's something else that's coming through that is going to need your attention for that celebration to be taking place and it's just like it's no right or wrong way to do it it's just something that had to happen in that way it had to take a brief cycle of a, of, of a pause you know and then for that to take place you know um it's telling you to listen you got that magic within you and listen knowing that the there are so many different signs that's coming to you that miracles is happening for you go back in nature you know allow yourself to feel fill it out you know don't you know, stay focused on things that are out of your, you know, out of your control. You know, allow yourself to be, um, you know, be open to the ideas and inspirations that your guardian angels are sending you. Be true to yourself. You know, if you know there's certain things you're dabbling in that's not healthy, you know, this is that time where you're, you're open to ask for assistance. And trust that, you know, divine timing is helping you. They're, they're trying to help you through this healing for you to be true to yourself. But you got to be, you know, self-accepting of yourself and allow fun to enter your life again. You know, you've been going through so much and it's hard for you to be, you know, having fun. But this is where they're telling you you need to have fun. You're deserving that. You know, everything doesn't have to be, you know, you know, so, you know, melatonin, whatever you want to call it. It's just like, don't do that. You know, you, you're recognizing your power. It's just like through this, everything you're going through is going to show you where your power really truly lays at. And you have it. And they're telling you, you really have it, Scorpio. You really, really have it. And these are the things that's very deserving of you. You know, but you're losing focus on what's important. And they're saying, don't do that anymore. You know you know where the aim is. You know where the bullseye is. 
aim for it and pull back and release everything is going to happen in your way so y'all don't you know if you're resonating with this y'all don't be discouraged you know because it's like so many good things you know a lot of times it's hard for us to you know when we see things in reverse we see it in a very negative way and we shouldn't do that you know it's just, it's just really showing you where where you know where your uh pinpoints is on where you need to work at and these are happening for you. And it's just like they don't want you to feel that everything that you have gone through was in vain. This was not. You didn't go come this far to just come this far. These things are really, you know, this is really going to benefit you in the long run. And they're telling you, you know, you got the ace in the hole. And it's like a lot of uh, a lot of y'all are in that home stretch. And it is just like that you've gone over so many pumps. You fast. You climb fast over one mountain just to be able to climb towards the next one. It, it's prepared you for that next one. And this one, you know, you get up on that one, you you know, that door going to pop open just when you're in the midst of, in a mid-climb. And that's what they're saying. You know, but allow allow nature to take its course. Stop, you know, try, stop trying to make moves and knowing the moves is making you. So I hope you were able to resonate with that. I'm going to show you all these cards. Uh-oh, let me unplug this because I don't want it to move. Sorry about it, y'all. <laughs> I hit that while I'm trying to put it back. But, you know, if you need to pause it, you know, go ahead and look at the cards. If um, anybody is interested in a, a private reading, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, and I hope this was able to help you. Scorpio, you're going through so many changes. Uh, and you have so many blessings that's heading towards your way. Because I see, uh, when I, I seen it in the last one where I seen like a smoking gun. This means that, you know, when they're showing it to me, it's rapid. Because when I see the smoking gun, it's like the bullet is flying fast. You know, a bullet, it moves fast. And then I'm seeing that, that, that chain on the wheel, you know, like on a, on a bike. And it's moving fast while I'm seeing smoke. So everything is moving fast. But it, it's just like this is in the spiritual realm and you know where, where it is where we're at it may move slow but in the spiritual realm it's moving like 10 million times faster than we expect it to be when you know you're making all the right moves and you're doing it from good intent good intent is going to happen for you that karma paid in kind is going to happen for you and take place but they're telling you no worries these things are happening to help benefit you in the long run there's so many good things that is coming out for you but this is at that time for you to nurture yourself because you got to be prepared for the unexpected blessings you weren't you weren't you weren't anticipating so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all much love to you peace